Hello everyone and welcome back to our reading of From the Earth to the Moon. Today's chapter, A Telegraphic Dispatch. Let's get started. The great works undertaken by the Gun Club had now virtually come to an end, and two months still remained before the day for the discharge of the shot to the moon. To the general impatience, these two months appeared as long as years. Hitherto, the smallest details of the operation had been daily chronicled by the journals which the public devoured with eager eyes. Just at this moment, a circumstance the most unexpected, the most extraordinary and incredible occurred to rouse afresh their panting spirits and to throw every mind into a state of the most violent excitement. One day, the 30th of September, at 3.47pm, a telegram transmitted by cable from Valentia, Ireland to Newfoundland and the American mainland, arrived at the address of President Barbicane. The President tore open the envelope, read the dispatch, and despite his remarkable powers of self-control, his lips turned pale and his eyes grew dim on reading the twenty words of this telegram. Here is the text of the dispatch which figures now in the archives of the Gun Club. France, Paris. September 30th, 4 a.m. Barbicane, Tampa Town, Florida, United States. Substitute for your spherical shell a cylindrical projectile. I shall go inside. Shall arrive by steamer Atlanta. Michelle Arden. And that would be all for today. I'll see you all next time. See ya!